guys, Gary and Traff here, and we wish to welcome you to the beach. We've made welcome a little... Welcome to Jamaica, man. <laughs> ah. Don't do that. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so welcome to our little paradise on the skyblock here. Um, after last pool. time, I decided to we needed a, a proper fishing pool, so I made this nice, nice little beach area with a coconut tree, and hopefully before too long we'll have some beach chairs as well. Um, ah, over yeah. here, what we have down here is these fish feeders, which um, basically they act as apiaries, uh, except that it's for fish. You put in fish, a male and female one, you toss in some fish food in the pond next to them, and they'll live out their lives and produce these little things. So, this one here is well, well, jungle biome. Over here we have what river biome, I think. And there's a small desert biome over here. I just took a yeah. screenshot. Whoops. Um, well done. Magical forest, desert right here. <laughs> yeah, so we got a good couple of biomes covered here, so we can pretty much have all sorts of different fish that we want. Yeah. But um, yeah, basically after last time and me failing so hard with the crucible furnace, I decided that okay, and I need to figure out how this works. So I spent a bit of time on this, and well, um, as a bonus, we also know how the pearl oysters work. So. <laughs> Basically, you seed them with a bit of sand inside, and then once the pearl, that you can see on the inside, it grows big, you can harvest it, and you get a nice big pearl that you can then use for jewelry or something else. I don't know. Like this one. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, it, it, then, it then just grew up, right as I turned my back. Uh-huh, here you go. This one's a green one. I wonder oh, if nice. they get, like, I, th I wonder if they'll keep growing, if we don't harvest them. Cause they won't. No? no? They turn one color and stop? Okay. Yeah, I'm fairly certain, but like, okay. I don't know if the color then depends on the biome or whatnot. It might. Hmm. But um, any case, uh, that's uh, that. So the crucible furnace over here is also biome. working beautifully. We have it heated up to 1500. That's the hottest you can get with the lava, which has almost run out. And I've made a bunch of, a bunch of fish oil, which has resulted in me being able to make a wooden fishing rod. So we've been having a bit of fun with that, catching some more fish. It's not biome based. Okay. These two are both uh, river and the other one's magical forest. I just got a blue one out of this one. Mm. Okay, um, fair I need two more pieces of sand, by the way. <laughs> These things grow really quickly. <laughs> Maybe they only grow when I, whenever my bag's turned. Yeah. No, there's only one of them missing sand. Uh, no, that's because I just picked the one. I think you reseeded the one already. The green one. Here you go. Have a pearl. All right. So he's gonna make himself a nice bracelet, <laughs> an anklet, a necklace. Do, pe do penguins have ankles? Mm. Would it be like a, I a finlet? I think, I think that's pretty much all we have. Is it like a finlet. <laughs> so anyway, oh. crucible furnace, 1500 degrees. We can actually recycle um, damaged armor in here. So we've been, um, along with the fish, we've been tossing in uh, the uh, gold armor we got from the uh, the mob trap. So. Yeah, yay for recycling. Recycling. Now, Traff. P pomegranate. That's, That's yours. Traff. Yes. You've been I've doing been... a bit of stuff as well. I have decided to go get all the uh, materials we needed to make a, uh, turn in a bunch of quests. So what I have here is a chest full of junk. Um, this is it actually kind of junky. It does. This is all the pieces needed pretty much to make a bunch of the machines that we need for current quests. And then um, over here is uh, the stuff we need to make the deep tank, along with the uh, high furnace. So I need to empty my inventory real quick. Boink. Over here is even more. I'll just chuck it all in there. Pretty much. <laughs> that's because I just—that's my inventory. <laughs> yeah. Ah. There we go. Stop everywhere. So what are you gonna do today, Jerry? I'm gonna be making a bunch of things. You're gonna be making a bunch of things. I need to first of all. I'm gonna get rid of this hill. Mm -hmm. Um, it's been a long way coming, and it's time for it to go. Time to go back. Which also means I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill my cactus up there. But uh, no worries, we can move it all as well. He'll spawn uh, many babies. Secondly, I think I need to look at our power situation because at the moment we don't have a lot of power. We have um, a. We do have a lava generator that we set yeah. up after being so frustrated with the amount of food we needed. So. There's a good bit of power in here, but it's not like it's not a permanent solution. It's manual at, as it is. Mm -hmm. 
So either I need to automate this like with um, a bunch of crucibles with cobblestone feeding into them, mm -hmm. or figure out some other way to um, get a, a renewable power source. Also, most likely, um, some power storage along the way. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I did notice earlier that there's a... I think it's a mine factory thing called a lava... a lava fabricator. I don't know how that works. Is that just require power to make well, lava. The or... thing is I don't think I don't think it's better than the crucibles we have. Yeah. Well, that's Hon honestly. I, I, I assume this thing yeah, this thing has a re redstone reception cable in it, so it must need power of some sort. Um, another it. option is um bioreactors from mine factory reloaded and the biofuel generator. It's very Basically, true. the bioreactor um <clears throat> you give it a bunch of different saplings and such, and the more different stuff you can give it, the more fuel it produces, uh, which you can then burn in the the generator. It's essentially the culinary generator with an added step, I guess. Yeah, except that we And it can, accepts it, more it, things. <laughs> yeah, we can toss in all the stuff we normally use to make dirt. Alright. Alright. Cool, cool. So, yeah, first of all, hill. Hill. Machines! Oh, what was that? That was uh, me leveling up my axe. Oh, <laughs> it was like instantly. <laughs> One swing. <laughs> Alright, so I think I'll start with the... Um, the we we must go deeper once quest. Uh, this, so this requires you to make an auto brewer, which uh, auto. Do 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 do. Where is it? That one. Disenchanter brewer. So it's a brewing stand, a machine frame, a redstone reception cable, some repeaters, and some fluid ducts and some plastic. I can do that. Uh, dun dun dun. And then two plastic. And then what was the other one? Something? I said something? Yeah, that. There we go. Auto Brewer. Easy peasy. Alright. So. We can so turn that can one in. What do you do with that? Auto oh, Brewer is. Uh, however, in Hamid. It's just make potions. It makes potions, I believe. I believe that's what it does. It makes potions really loudly, apparently. Yeah. It makes potions! Makes potions! Uh, but we can turn in that quest. Um, we can turn in a bunch of quests. Yeah, we can turn in that one. If we turn in that one, I don't have the I don't have the inventory space for it right now until I get all this stuff made. So I'll make all this stuff first, and then we'll do it. Although it unlocked two more quests. Uh, never, it. never again. Now that you've decided not to go back into the Nether again, we need a different way to obtain blaze rods. Dolls have amazing summoning powers. Placing an angry doll on a stone barrel of lava will summon a blaze. We did that already, so we already have half the quest yeah, done. Yeah, and we have creepy dolls already, so... Place a creepy doll in a barrel of witch water to summon an enderman. Once you... Okay. So it just wants us to do both of them, and then that'll turn it in. Now, what is this highway to hell? You don't uh, have to... That is, we need to visit the nether. <laughs> Wait. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna claim some rewards here. You don't have to this... go to the nether, but you can. I wouldn't, I wouldn't make a summon home there... Oh, I wouldn't make a summer home there, but it really is quite lovely. A task where the player has to reach one or more locations. Well, that's a new kind it's of quest. An, it is not lovely. So we just have to go through the portal, right? I guess, I assume. Yeah, that's just it. but the thing is, like, um, I want to go through the portal and bring a bit of netherrack and then run back. Mm -hmm. um, because we need the netherrack for um, uh, farmcraft. Yeah. Get started there. So I really want to go in there and actually grab the netherrack and just flee again. Are you, but do, are you doing that now? <laughs> I'm gonna finish cleaning up this hill first, and then I might do it. Okay. Alright, so I need to make an Ingvar sword. No, I didn't. Oh, shit. It wasn't a sword, it was an axe. Oh, Traff, there's one more quest we need to hand in as well. Uh, yeah, I don't have room right now. So made an Ingvar that sword. one, and then there's Crap. the Go with the Flow quest, Fluid Storage. Do we want 16 magnesium Perhaps. dust or a reward pack? Magnesium dust is used to refine titanium for mariculture. Okay. That's pretty much what it does. Um, so I don't know maybe, if, I don't know if maybe there's any other way. One of each? Um, well, one's just a reward pack. Well, the reward bag could have something nice in it. Yeah, I'm gonna take the magnesium. Once I can no, actually pick I still it up. Can't, I still can't select. Alright, whatever. But yeah, I, I got a good bit of potions now. Yeah. Which can't I'm gonna toss in this nether chest over here. 
that face. And then all that can go in there, and then I'm gonna try and open this reward bag. Nice reward. Five Ender Lily seeds. Ooh. It's not Yay. like we're short on Ender Lilies, and we don't really have no. any. No. Oh, we do, but we do have one piece of Endstone. Well, you can plant it on normal stuff, it just yeah, takes but, two but, weeks Minecraft but, time. Um, I, I did make some Endstone at one point. Right? Yeah, like yeah. we had an Enderman die inside the smelter, and I put it out over a block of obsidian to get some, some Endstone. So I have one piece. Yeah. Cool. So I'm gonna plant cool. this in the lily. Um, cool. I'm gonna plant it over by the blood also. Mainly because we suck. like in a corner over here because we don't want to do that area for a while. Meaning that there's little chance that we will, um, you know, trip and fall into it. All right, so that's one in the lily planted. <laughs> uh, I guess we could make a bunch more in stone, but um, for now I'll settle for one. Alright, so, Ingvar. Why do you keep saying Ingvar? Ingvar. Invar. I don't know, I want to add a G to it. Invar. Alright. Sludge. And then it wants us to make a... To finish the quest, you need to make a bucket of sludge. Or a sludge bucket. So, for that... I need... You need to have some stuff, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Like that, that that's what you need. It needs to and, go... And then put it in, you need to, and put it into a tank. Mm -hmm. Put it into a tank. Yeah, it needs to export it into a... Uh, open block tank, tank would be easy. Stuff. Do we have another open block tank? What happened to the... Um... Uh, I have one ta open block tank on me. Okay, I was going to say. Take that. You want it? Yes, I did. Um, although I don't know how we're going to... You know, yeah, okay, screw it. We'll do it. What? We'll do it. I will put it... I might end up destroying part of the farm temporarily. Draft, why, yeah. why not just harvest the sugarcane? We even have pow power right over here. We have the uh, steam dynamo here. Yeah. But if you put it on the the, cop the gravel there... Uh, I could put it right here on your, your lovely wooden deck here. Yeah, you can also do that. Alright, so I need... Right up against them. Boink. And then... We don't have any upgrades for it, do we? Nope. So it's going to only harvest the ones in front of it. Uh, okay, so that's that. Uh, let's yep. see, do I have... I have my precision slash hammer, yeah. Wow. Quickly going to ah, pick up this well, thing. I don't like these pearl oyster net, the fishing nets. Then move them. They're, they they bug out half the time. Then remove them. It's really not go. that simple. Not that hard. Alright, so we need, what, coal? Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's some, some coal in the chest uh, by the sieve. Uh, this one, yep. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. And then it's like one piece is fine. Then it just quickly heats up. Heats the up. Harvester should start. Come on, you can do it, little harvester. I believe in you. Idle, idle, idle. Uh, maybe oh, there is some, needs, there uh, is some sludge it, in there. There is some sludge. It is doing. Yeah, this. but but the thing is, it, it's picked up something and it can't uh, put it out because it normally puts out on the back of it. Ah. So if I just bollocks. do this, here we go. What'd you do? Um, basically the output was blocked by the the power. Oh. So now it's outputting on the side here instead. Oh, uh, can we? We're gonna have to break it again. Um, Why? Or break this the steam dynamo and move it. Why? No, I moved the output. We need That's the to, problem. We need to, to keep going because we need at least a bucket full of sludge. Yeah. But there's no problem. Well, well this turn actually. this way, it's only going to harvest these two. One. This one, right? These two right here. Because it's like a two by... Uh, or yeah. no, it's three by three in front of it. So these three. So... You just going to keep turning it. <laughs> um. Yeah, we, we should have put this thing on top. Ow. Sorry. Don't, don't. I'm pretty sure you can break it. That works. And then, uh... I'm actually surprised this thing doesn't suck up the, uh... the things. From this distance. It, uh, it does try, but they, they get caught in the water over here. Yeah. But yeah, like, the thing is, without an upgrade, it's really, really hard to make anything work with this. So we're, we need a thousand millibuckets. Um... Uh, yeah. <laughs> we could make an upgrade we real quick. Traf, 
I have a bit even better idea. Yes. Um, we pick this thing up. Huh? Um, and then take we the take tank. it over here. And if I. Uh, you set it up before I could put the tank back down. It, it's fine. It has an internal storage. But look at that. Holy because... crap. Ow. I, forgot. <laughs> I completely forgot that blew up. Yeah? Um, but... Look at this. Now, it, does, it doesn't have any more power. But um, if uh, we then set up the, uh, the steam dynamo again here... Right and just quickly get a it's bucket of water. Alright. Like, the annoying thing about steam dynamo is that it doesn't keep. Why stop breaking it? I was breaking the last one. Just let the... It doesn't reach down. It doesn't go down. So it couldn't get that last log. Oh. There you go. That's all the sludge you could ever want. Yeah, look at that. And we got a sludge bucket. And we can turn it in. Alright. So we have our choice of seeds. Five more ender lily seeds. Some tomatoes, some oh. bean, or normal seeds. Well, anyway, we Traff, I, I picked the magnesium, so you can pick the reward back there. In the, uh, the, um, the... Wait a minute. This doesn't have to be in hand. Why is it not counting? Oh, no, okay. Learning to Skyblock. Cultivating the harvest, let's see. And sludge. So, you know what, just let's, gonna let's, go just go, let's just go for the ender lily seeds, like... We all have, the ender lily we seeds. Have all the, we have all the other ones. The ender lily seeds are the only thing slightly special. Uh, so... Flux and fuse sickle would still touch five. Interesting. I still can't turn that in. That, that, that quest didn't uh, fill up my inventory again. Toss some stuff somewhere. Um, Do we have any other quests we need to hand in now that I'm working, <laughs> handing in stuff? So there's much the, crap! There's the nether, the, the nether one. Gonna go to the nether real quick? Yeah, I'll, I'll go to the nether real quick. Um, yeah, that goes in there. Alright, um... I'm just gonna put my things nicely away. So I can actually find it again. It wants us to make a tin upgrade. Yeah. You already have the precision stretch hammer. Yeah, I do. What about it? I do. So we just need to make a tin upgrade. Yeah, then do it. Alright. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna toss all my shit. I think I believe it's here. just gold nuggets and raw rubber or something like that. Alright, Draft. Um I need a crabby pickaxe. There's one here. You can do it, Jerry. I believe in you. And then I'm gonna need one bit of food here. Three tin, three raw plastic, a gold nugget, and two redstone. Now I'm not gonna bring my armor either. Yeah. So that goes in the sapling chest here for a moment. Like, th th we get a quest reward just for me going in here. I know I have 52 levels and it sucks, I'm gonna lose them all. But, oh, Jeff. If you go in, we, you can we, ex we extinguish the portal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, might, that might help. <laughs> if you go in and then, like, try to go back out, I don't think they can hit you while you're in the portal. They can. Can they? Yeah, but the thing is, I need to leave the portal before I can activate it again. Ah. Uh, what's a flint and steel, Traff? Um... Words. Did we lose the one we had in there, or...? Possibly. Uh... <laughs> I'll just make a new one. I need to go find stuff for this tin upgrade. Alright, Traff, I'm just gonna light it here gonna and then I'm gonna toss it over the, the flint over here. <laughs> so you can pick it up if you want, otherwise uh, we can get it later. Ow. If you, uh, do you have new pillar materials? No? No, nope, you just lost your life. But it should, unless we had to go to a specific spot in the nether. Mm. Yep, yep. You had to visit a specific coordinate in the nether. Shit. Negative 149, 60, 185. Uh, Alright, should we try to do it next episode? Yeah, I think with our armor and our good swords, and we can even, like, take the potions we got. Like, if we just gear up properly, I think, All I right. reckon we can do it.
All right, next episode, we'll do that. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. This has been Agrarian Skies. My name's Treff. That's Jerry. Bye. Bye.